Use any ATM of your convenience and stand a chance to win gold sovereigns. Lanka Pay. The National Visionary Summit, organized by the National Councils of Professionals, was held last evening in Colombo under the patronage of opposition leader and presidential candidate of the Samagi Jana Sandhani, Sajid Premadasa. Yes, of course, stability is necessary. We need low inflation and low interest rates. We need stable exchange rates. We need a stable macroeconomy. We must meet revenue and primary balance targets. We need to accumulate foreign exchange reserves. But what use of all these numbers if we have sparse growth? When South India is growing at almost double digits, the IMF and the government have agreed on a plan to reach a mere 3.1% growth rate by 2029. This would not certainly suffice. It is totally inadequate. We can't get out of our hole with such lethargic and anemic growth. That is why we discussed with the IMF our position on the need to amend the agreement. The current program does not focus on growth. We must align our economy towards growth. Not just growth, but tradable growth. That is exports and internationally competitive import substitution. It is very important when we have prosperity as our target, when we have growth as our target, we must ensure that we attain shared prosperity, that we achieve the objective of equitable growth, growth where its fruits would be shared and redistributed among all sectors of our society. We have seen time and time again, countries have focused on debt sustainability, but neglected to build a strong foundation for their industries, their people and their future. Yes, of course, debt sustainability is crucial, but it cannot be the sole focus. If we do not address these underlying core issues of economic growth and equitable distribution, or if I may say redistribution of the fruits of that growth, we risk creating vulnerabilities that could undermine our democracy, resulting in an anarchic situation. Let me assure you, that we are firm in our resolve to continue with the reform process. We need reforms across the board, be it in trade, investment policy, or in institutions in the public sector.